Hi guys, I've got a little unboxing video for you today and it is for the Alexa Clear stationery subscription boxes. Now this isn't the current stationery box. I actually did subscribe to the boxes when they first came out, which I believe was just over a year ago. Uh, so the first one was like a Misty Mountain Woodland type one and I basically got the box free for just the cost of the shipping um, because it was a brand new stationery box. I had a look through it and at the time I have to be honest I wasn't keen and I didn't continue this subscription because I felt they were better, well, possibly not better, um, but other subscription boxes on the market that fitted me better with what they had in it. There were a couple of items that I really really liked but there were other items that I just thought were a bit hmm and I wasn't that happy with the quality of some of the items so basically I didn't subscribe anymore. However, recently, I'm still um, following her Facebook page and things like that recently uh, she had a market night sale where she was getting rid of old boxes, like leftover ones from previous months and one of them was a flamingo box and if you've been here any length of time you know that I love buy flamingos so when I saw that I had to give it home uh, and then I saw that there was also a galaxy box and I love stars and everything so I thought I would get that one as well so they were basically half price instead of the normal price which I think is £18 a month I'll double check that and put it in the info box below but um, that is roughly the price it is anyway for a subscription. So I bought these two and I just thought I'd do a little unboxing. I bought them because I like the themes and also because I figured it's a year on. It would be nice to see if the boxes have developed any and that kind of thing. I actually already filmed this video um, last week before I got sick and I decided that I was going to refilm it because I wasn't happy with the footage and things like that so I already know what's in here anyway so it's not a surprise to me but I'm just going to have a little look through and show you guys what is in here do a bit of a review okay, so that is the inside of the boxes the good thing that I do like about these mine came in a larger box because I had two, but um, usually they just come in these little kind of slightly bigger than a DVD box and they fit through your letterbox so you don't have to be home so that is a real plus point. They always have this sticker on the inside, this was in the first box I got as well, basically asking you to share with the hashtag stationery club to get a free set of stationery. And there's all the social media. So it's wrapped up in tissue. So this is the fabulous flamingo theme. The gold tissue. These aren't really planner boxes as such. It's more stationary. Okay, so this item here. Put that by. Be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. Watch this card why I took it away there is because it has the link to a downloadable printable planner. Which is actually a really great idea. I haven't seen any other subscription services that do that. My only issue with it was when I got the box before, and I still think this now, is that it's a bit overkill to have a full year's planner every month. But some of the pages are pretty cute, and I have downloaded a couple of like to-do lists and things like that. I don't really need it because I have my planners, but sometimes if I just want one to shove in my bag or whatever, then that's there. So yeah, you always get that. So I think that is kind of what makes up most of the cost. So first item in the box is a set of stickers. So these are nice. Really like them and they're flamingos. So like I said, you can't go wrong with flamingos. So they're glossy. Which is nice for change. So I usually get that. And the next item is papers. So double sided, all like flamingo designs. Like that one. Now 
So I really love the designs on these. And I think it is a good idea to include them. I can make dashboards or whatever out of these. But as you can probably see because the light's hitting them, they are really shiny and they're also really they're flimsy. They're not cardstock, they're more like glossy paper. So that was a bit of a minus point for me. I probably wouldn't I mean I'll probably find a use for them. They're not thick enough to be dividers really and if I make them into dashboards I'll have to laminate them. Um so I will use them but I would have preferred if they'd been matte cardstock. That would have been better in my opinion. Got a nice can't make up my mind if this is silver or gold, but a nice glitter I think it's gold. Glitter washi tape. So can't go wrong with that. And then we have a gold gel pen, which is okay. And a really nice list pad, I like this. It's got space at the top for you to put a title on your list. And then lots and lots of check boxes and it's got the flamingo print so I really love this and I'll probably punch these and put them inside of my cover story flamingo Velofax, which is my handbag Velofax. So I really love that. And then this next one is the craft item that comes with it. So this month it is make your own flamingo, so you cut out the flamingo head, These, this is like one of those little paper ornaments you get at Christmas, so you basically if I'm trying to do this one handy because I can't find my tripod, um, one of those little balls and then a pipe cleaner. So basically the idea is you cut out the flamingo head. Fasten it inside the body and give it some legs and you've got your own little flamingo. Now, I'm kind of in two minds about this part of the box. It's a cute idea having a little DIY but for me, the project itself um, is a little bit childlike for me and I found that with the first box as well it's one of the things I didn't like about it Um, I think it would be great if you have children that you would do that with and things like that I don't want to be wrong it is a flamingo I am going to make it but uh, I do feel it was lit sit on the childlike side for me but that's just personal opinion really that was everything that was in the fabulous flamingo box. So overall I think there is supposed to be actually a planner tassel in here but it's missing from the box. Uh, and I did actually email about, not just about that, I emailed about something else showing to the next box. So she did say that she would send that out to me. Um, I haven't got it as yet but we will see what happens with that. But it's supposed to be a pink glitter planner tassel. So that would be really cute. But overall, I'd probably give this a three and a half to a four out of five. Simply because I wasn't happy with the quality of the cardstock and the item was missing and also the little craft project didn't really do it for me. Probably a four, I'm probably being super harsh. Because it is personal preference. What's the flamingo one? This box is the Galaxy Girl. And I've been buying a lot of space related things recently. So this one's in a nice silver box. And again, you've got the same label on the inside. Um, I just realised as well I have so much stuff lying on my bed that's because I'm working and planning and things. So it was fueled with me. <laughs> Okay, so tissue paper again. I'm absolutely in love with this tissue paper with the glitter through it. It's really nice. So in here we have got a navy blue gel pen. A gold glitter gel pen. 
It'll be interesting to see how these write because I'm not really a fan of holes. And then this is just a is that gel or a ballpoint gel pen, pen gel pen. Get the colour. That's quite nice. Okay, on top here again we have the cardstock, and I really love the designs. I have quotes on them this time. When life knocks you down, roll over and look at the stars. Stars can't shine without darkness. And then they've got like the galaxy prints on the back. Galaxy prints. Always remember to fall asleep with a dream and wake up with purpose. One stripes. So again, I really love the designs on these. They're not as shiny as in the flamingo one. But they're still super thin. They're slightly thicker actually. I would say these are better quality than the flamingo ones. But I'm just not a glossy card person. I would rather have matte because then I can like write on it and do other things with it. Next up, I thought this was more cards, but it's actually a exercise book. With a galaxy print on it, so that's pretty neat. Nice. We have got some navy blue washi. I think that's is that eight mil millimeter washi. That's pretty nice. Got a greetings card. It says hello. And that's by Alexia Clear. Nice navy blue envelope. So that's pretty nice. the uh, planner stickers and as I said I've already opened these um, previously so I'm refilming this and this was the one thing that for me really really let the box down because I'm going to try and show you as best I can that these are really poorly cut they are a good eighth of an inch off the cut lines so I'll show you there's a strip of the mixed sticker on there and then the same there there's a white strip and like on this one we've got the stripes and there's also a lime green bit so really the only ones that are usable on here are the ones that are white mixed to white because they've got the bit uh, also it looks as though it's a bigger sheet that's been cut in half because you can see that it's right down at the edge on that side but there's a big space there just thought these were really poorly cut misaligned and also really quite smudged in places so that was a huge let down for me with the stickers um, as I said, I did actually email Alexia about this just to ask because they've been on sale uh, in case I'd misread or hadn't noticed whether or not these were boxes that were seconds because there was something missing out the other box and because these stickers were poorly cut um, so I did email to ask her because I really wasn't that happy about it at the time I was actually quite annoyed um, and she did email me back within 24 hours saying that no, it wasn't a second and she apologised. She says that usually if she has miscut stickers, she keeps them aside to donate to teachers. But these obviously missed a quality control check or whatever. Um, although... One of the reasons I didn't keep subscribing last year when I first got the box was because some of the stickers were off, but it wasn't as bad as this. It was just slightly, so I didn't actually see anything at that point. But as I say, I did contact her, and she has said that she'll send me a fresh sheet of stickers and a new planner tassel that was missing out the other box. So that was about two weeks ago. 
so I will see what happens when we arrive I'm gonna I'm not gonna put this video up until I get that back um, so I can compare what they should be like because I think it's only fair to obviously rep show a good representation of what it is like if this is genuinely a mistake then obviously the next set will be a lot better um, so yeah the stickers I wasn't that pleased with and then never stop looking up this is again the card on the back it's got the URL to the printable planner and then a bunch of gold paper clips in the bottom which kind of surprised me as well I would have thought these would be in a little baggie or clipped onto a card or something so they just in at the bottom because I had actually originally filmed this in my car because I picked it up at the post office and I was waiting on my husband while I was at uni so um, I actually almost lost them in the car and opened the box because they were falling out so I would have put that in there so this box overall it's right now it's kind of a three for me uh, again I'm not that fussed with the card quality and texture the stickers being miscut and I just think it could have been packed a little better with the paper clips and things and there seems to be an abundance of pens this month but I like the designs so we will see my score for it might come up based on well, like I said, it's back to me with the items that she was going to send out. So we'll just need to see what happens with that. But I will add a little bit on at the end. But as always, I will put the link to both to the website where you can subscribe if you'd like to. Um, and again, overall, this is just my personal opinion. I think the designs are super cute, but for me, it's a quality issue with the paper. Um favourite items in the galaxy box I really liked the exercise book and the greetings card and I like the quote cards just not the texture but I may frame them actually because I may decorate my room just now so I might use them for that uh, out of the other box favourite items really like the washi tape, it's super sparkly and also that to-do list pad that was really awesome, that was my favourite item overall out of the two boxes so this one I'll say a 4 and this one a 3 right now because of the issue with the stickers um, trying them out again hasn't really convinced me to become a regular subscriber but I might buy the odd box here and there if I really like the theme that's coming up so that was basically my little review and unboxing so I hope you've enjoyed it and you found it helpful if you subscribe to the stationery club box before leave me a comment let me know how you got on with them if the cut stickers were just a, a blip this time or if you've noticed things like that in the past and as always, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I try and have two to three new videos every week with unboxings, planner hauls, stationery, tutorials and plan with me videos. So that is all from me just now. Thanks again for watching and bye bye. Hey guys, um... I'm just doing a quick little update to the video, like I said, it was, just, you have to excuse me because it is coming up on 2am and I'm in pyjamas, um, but I wanted to get this video up and I just realised I hadn't done the little update, so I've just been catching up as to I got home today, because uh, we've been out all day. So... I mentioned earlier in the video about the problems with the boxes, primarily the really badly cut, really badly smudged stickers and the missing items and I said that I had contacted Alexa Claire about it and 
and that was on the 26th of June, so it's now just turned the 29th of July, so a month later. And although she did get back to me within 24 hours when I emailed her saying that she would replace the items that were missing and the problem stickers, she said they normally just keep them aside or whatever. Um, I kind of felt like it was just an excuse because I have had badly cut stickers from her before. But um, long story short, she was going to send me out the items, so I waited to put the review up until I got the items so that I could be fair. I mean, people do make mistakes all the time, but um, as I say, it's now been a month and I still haven't received the replacement items, so I don't think I'm going to be getting them now. I've actually emailed her again. Uh, after she said about replacing them, I emailed her to confirm, asked her if she needed my address or if she knew by the email uh, where to send them, and she didn't reply to that. And... Uh, then emailed her again saying I hadn't received the items yet. She didn't reply to that either, so I'm probably not going to get the replacement items. <laughs> so I have to take that into consideration for the review. So with that in mind, I can't remember what scores I gave the Flamingo one. Uh, I think I gave it a 4 because I did like some items, but I'm going to change that to a 3 because I like the stickers, I like the this pad, I like the washi tape, however, the quality of the cards, paper, was just not good, it was shiny, it was like paper you'd use for a, a flyer for a tub, it wasn't paper that I could use in any kind of craft, um, and also I felt like the little craft project was just too Childish, it was something you would make in nursery school with children. Um, that again is my personal preference. Maybe people like doing things like that, but I just felt like it wasn't for me. And I did feel the same about the box that I got previous to that. Um, I just thought they were a bit basic. And also, that it was the planner tassel was missing. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a three and a half. Uh, I liked the designs, I liked some of the items, but there was stuff missing and the quality of the paper just was not good. The Galaxy Girl box, I'm going to stick with the rating of 3 that I gave it. I love the designs, but again the quote card slash paper were just so cheap and felt horrible. The only thing I could do with them really is frame them. I wouldn't use them in a project or anything like that. Um, the gel pens looked like the kind of really cheap gel pens you can get, like 50 of them for a pound. Um, the paper clips, you can buy, excuse me, you can buy a hundred of them for a couple of pounds and they weren't even packaged or anything, just thrown in the bottom of the box. Um, the the washi tape was okay, the exercise book was nice, the greetings card was nice. Um, the stickers were just hopeless, I can't even use them. Um, they weren't that great to begin with, they were just little squares, but I think that made it worse because it should have been the easiest thing to cut and they were just really badly cut and they were smeared and they were dirty and there was just no way to use them. Uh, I'd I think I might actually, now that I'm going back to it, I think there might have been items missing from the Galaxy Girl box as well because there wasn't any like planner charm in it and there's supposed to be personalised items in them but I did assume at the time that because they were the, the old boxes, just what was left over that they wouldn't be the personalised items because she was obviously just trying to clear old stock so that was fine but um. Yes, I'm going to rate that one a three and another one a three and a half out of five. I wouldn't subscribe. I don't think it's worth it for the money. Uh, I think it comes to about eighteen pounds by the time you add postage on. It's quite uh, expensive for what you're getting. There are much better value subscription boxes out there for stationery and planners. Um, I would highly recommend the Brimble's boxes. I would recommend the Ugly Bug Buzz boxes, uh, and Paper Gang box as well. 
I'm sure there are others out there that I haven't tried, but those are the ones that I've tried and the ones that I like. Um, so I just wanted to add this on at the end there to say that I did contact her to rectify the problems and she was going to replace them, but she hasn't done so. So I think to give a fair and honest review of the boxes, I have to include that information for you. Um, I do feel bad about kind of being nasty about it, but I did ask some friends and a planner with the Scotland Planner Girls Group, and all of them did say that they would prefer to know that there's possible issues so they can make up their mind about buying it. And uh, I do agree with that, and I'm not going to censor any reviews. There has been things I've not put up in the past because I thought, mm, that's not fair, someone's just trying to make a business. Um, but I'm going to start being more transparent about the things I put up and putting up things that I don't like, as well as things that I do. Um, at the end of the day, like, it's quite, it is quite a large business now. By, I mean, she's not like a corporation, but... By comparison to all the little Etsy sellers and things like that, she has had the designs for Filofax, she has designs on not on the high street dot com. She is a larger business, so I do feel like these issues shouldn't be happening. She should have someone checking the boxes and things like that. She should have better quality papers and things. So, yep, that is all I have to say, really. I'm going to try and get to bed, get some sleep, because I haven't been sleeping all week. Uh, I do have some more videos still to edit and things like that. Uh, I've got a couple of unboxings. I don't know whether to put up or not, because I was so late doing them and getting them. That the next ones will be coming out um this week. So I don't know whether to bother or not. I might just stick them up anyway. I'm going to have a couple of planning videos. And I also have a craft haul coming, which is probably going to be the next video I put up. Um, so that is really all I have got to say. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I try and put videos up uh, at least twice a week. I cover planners, plan with me, stationery, crafts, and just general things to do with paper. Because I love paper. I'm kind of rambling now, obviously I'm getting tired, so I'm going to leave it here and I will see you all again soon. Bye bye.